Hello and welcome to another My Interesting Pictures video. First of all, thank you very much for watching and now I will tell you six more English words misused in German. So last time I was already telling you seven English words which are misused in German and I thought there are more words. German is using so many English words in a wrong way that can't be it. So anyways, let's start with our first one of today. So just imagine this situation. You tell your friend, hey, let's watch a movie tonight and you just go there and just relax. And then he's telling you, hey, can you get me the Beamer? And you're like, the Beamer, right. What is that? Your German friend is going to tell you then, this is the thing where you will watch the video on, or rather the thing which will project the video onto the wall. So a Beamer, is actually a projector but there is a good reason why Germans call it a beamer and not a projector because the first uh, CRT video projector was the and I need to look this name up the advent video beam 1000 and that thing was was as I said the first uh, video projector which is why that name just became so common in Germany that now we call it Beamer. The second word is old timer. And when you hear old timer, it's not a grandpa or your grandma who's an old timer knowing the times from the old times. Right, Marvin? No, an old timer in Germany is a very, very old car, but not a bad car. Old timers are considered to be very valuable, very, very. Very, very nice and very expensive normally as well. The next word is the word box and not really box itself, but the word boxen with an en at the end, which is standing for the plural form of this word. And boxen or box is not a cardboard box, no. It's actually considered to be in Germany a speaker, which you need to listen to music to, for example. Up next is the word showmaster. And showmaster is actually a person on television who's presenting big shows, who's very present, who's capable of, yeah, talking to a lot of people and stuff. And that word became really famous when a Dutch TV presenter came to Germany. He's dead now, though. He was super, super famous. Rudy Carell is his name. And he kind of made this word very common in Germany. Fun fact, because there's a showmaster in the German language, now there is also a quiz master and a talk master. So Germans are not only misusing English words, no, they also create English words which are actually not existing. Every one of you knows the word pullover, right? But Germans thought, you know what, we also want to have a Pullunder. So a pullunder is actually a sweater without sleeves. And please do not ask me why we call it like that. I have no clue to be honest. So these were six more English words misused in German. I hope you had fun watching. I certainly did um, doing the video and not watching because that would mean, no, no, that's just not possible. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had fun watching and as always, stay interested to be my interesting. Goodbye.